Welcome back to what we call Pastor Talks here at the Christian Church of Loudoun County. I take time every week and I share in my time in the Word in the hopes to be an encouragement to you and your walk with Christ. My hope is that you will then take this encouragement and go and share it with the other people that God's placed in your life. The troubles that we face and the way that we respond to them is something that Jesus speaks into, as does the early church. And I think we get this really profound image of that response and um, the reality of those difficult seasons that come and pass with John the Baptist, um, who is the biggest advocate for Jesus and sends his own disciples to pursue after Jesus, refers to him first and foremost as the one that the people have been waiting for. And then there's this really honest moment where John the Baptist is in prison and he's worried. And Matthew chapter 11, when Jesus had finished instructing his 12 disciples, he went on from there to teach and preach in their cities. Now, when John heard in prison about the deeds of the Christ, he sent word by his disciples and said to them, are you the one who is to come or shall we look for another? This honest moment where he is questioning if if I'm about to die, if I'm if I'm to be executed, if I am to be in prison, are you the one? Or should we look for another? That doubt that we feel in the moments of genuine pressure in life and the unsurety of what's coming next is something that John, the the person who who paved the way for the Messiah even in himself, feels a time of turmoil. It goes on and says this, Jesus answered them, go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed and the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, the poor have good news preached to them, and blessed is the one who is not offended by me. That phrase, not offended by me, is to trust him that these things are happening, but they're not happening in John's life. There's good news, even if it's not immediately in front of John. Don't be offended by the fact that you're stuck in prison while others are being set free. And there's this very, very honest reflection from John and one that we have to reflect ourselves on. The moments when our life doesn't go the way we wanted it to go. It's not right now. It's not feeling the way that I thought that I was going to feel. This isn't headed the direction that I expected it to head. And we can let moments like that take away our peace, take away our good news, replace our gospel with a false narrative, believing something that's not true about God and not true about his gospel. Blessed is the one who is not offended by me. To be a receiver of Jesus as a blessing in the good seasons and in the bad seasons. I'm going to pray that over you and over the rest of your day. I pray that you walk that out in your own life today. That whether you're in a good place or you're in a bad place right now, that you would take a moment and take a deep breath of the blessing that is the person of Jesus and to let that fill you. I'm going to pray that over you. I hope the rest of your day is blessed. Father God, thank you. Thank you for the bread of life. Thank you for the person of Jesus Christ. Thank you for the ways that he has led me and the people that are listening to this video out of countless valleys and difficulties and trials. And so Father, regardless of where the listener finds himself today, whether they be in a good place or a bad place, I just pray that you remind them that you are there with them and that you are good and that what you do is good. Even if all that they can see around them is brokenness, remind them of the reality and the fact that you are good and what you do is good. Help them to trust in you. Help them to believe in you. Help them to not be offended by you. Thank you so much for Jesus who does in our life more than we can ask or imagine. It's in his name that I pray. Amen.